Well, here on today's holiday, I'll admit to you there's not a whole lot of news. There's a little bit, a little bit of rumblings about the the victims' families seeking the death penalty for Brian Kohlberger in this uh, Os- uh, Moscow, Idaho murder case, the Idaho 4. Guys, I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick little video here today. Not going to take up too much of your time on your holiday. Hopefully, you guys are drinking, fucking eating, having a good day. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. Now, before we get started, I want to say first and foremost, thank you to everybody that supports the channel or any of my channels, regardless of the method you use, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal. Truth is, guys, I couldn't do it each and every day as often as I do if it wasn't for you, the Gun Squad. So big shout out to you guys. And if you too find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Support the channel. Join the Gun Squad today. While you're down there, if you get into politics and you're not a snowflake, feel free to follow Follow my political channel, my other live stream channel, my gaming channel, whatever it is you may like. If you're a whiny bitch, though, I wouldn't recommend it. Just stay over here in the true crime area, right? Because And there's a lot of whiny bitches. Actually, I saw motherfuckers being whiny bitches because I wore a shirt. That's when you know y'all some whiny bitches. I don't like the shirt you're wearing, JB. Well, go fuck yourself. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on into this, guys. I got a hot tub to get back into, and we're going to go ahead and uh, push things forward with this story real quick. Idaho murder house victims' families will seek the death penalty for accused killer Brian Koberger after experts speculated his standing silent during court hearing was to keep a plea deal option open. That's the dumbest statement I've ever heard. You understand... (laughs) Almost everybody pleads not guilty at their arraignment. And they still offer plea bargains. You understand? They offer plea bargains. It's not like if you say not guilty at your arraignment, that all of a sudden the the door on plea bargains are closed. So in case you're one of them people that don't know the legal system, I'm just letting you guys know. When you see articles like this, when you see statements like this, it's a completely dumb as fuck. The attorney for the Gonsalves family said that their family support the death penalty in this case. Koberger, age 28, is accused of murdering Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves. By the way, I just want to make this clear. I also am a huge supporter of the death penalty. I think that's obvious by my conservative leanings. Um, I definitely feel like whoever killed these four kids should be given the death penalty. Do I think Brian Koberger did it? My answer is still no. Do I th- well, even if he did do it, do I think he'll be convicted? No. But regardless, whoever killed these kids should get the death penalty. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you believe the same thing? I think so. I think if any case warrants the death penalty, uh, which I believe many do, this has to be the model case for something like that. Two of the Idaho quadruple murder victims' families will seek the death penalty for the college student's alleged killer, an attorney has said. Koberger is accused of murdering all the motherfuckers. You know the deal. He stayed silent when he was asked to give a plea at a hearing last week. Now the attorney for the Gonsalves family said that their their family, as well as the the Mogans family, support the death penalty, in this case, following the murders. They're filing notices indicating their desire to seek capital punishment during the trial, reports News Nation. Now, a lot of people say, listen, there's a lot of you guys that say <clears throat> that there will be no plea bargain because the families wouldn't allow it. I laugh whenever I hear somebody say that because you motherfuckers don't know shit about cases. You really believe that the families have to approve a plea bargain? I may not like JLR, but JLR recently released some information talking about the particular prosecutor, Bill Thompson. He has a history, actually, of reducing charges in high-profile murder cases down to um, down to a second-degree murder and giving people one, one case he gave a kid 20 years, the other case he gave someone 69 years. So I just want to make that clear for you people. That, and, and, and the one where he gave him 69 years, the Asian family was completely against it. They were throwing chopsticks and shit at the TV. They were, they were pretty pissed off. So let me make this very clear. <laughs> let me make this very clear that this prosecutor doesn't have to listen to the Mogans. 
This prosecutor doesn't have to listen to the Gonsalves. If this prosecutor wants to reduce charges and offer a plea bargain to Brian Koberger, he can, and he's proven that he will. This particular prosecutor is up for re-election in 2024. He may not even still be the prosecutor throughout the end of this case. But if he is, this is probably one of his last cases. He's 60, 67 years old, I believe. I don't necessarily know if he's going to seek re-election. This could be the final case he does as he sits, you know, goes off into the sunset, right? Is it possible he offers him a plea bargain? I think it is very possible. And, uh, but I do not believe that's the reason that Brian Koberger stood mute at all. Shannon Gray, the Gonsalves family attorney, told News Nation, we spoke with the prosecutor on the case, Mr. Thompson. He's going to meet with all the families individually and make a decision based on that, whether he seeks the death penalty or not. So the Gonsalves family obviously supports the death penalty in this case. This comes just days after the families of the Gonsalves and Mogan filed legal documents that suggest they could sue the city of Moscow for damages. I don't see how that's even possible. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what it is with everybody in America. Everybody sues people all the time. How the fuck are you going to sue the city because your kids got slaughtered? What damages? And do you believe the case is being done wrong? Maybe that. But you can't sue the fucking I mean, you can sue people for whatever you want. But you're going to sue the city because Brian Koberger murdered your, your kids? Uh, that, that doesn't make sense. People will just sue for anything these days. Anyway, Shannon Gray, an attorney representing the two families, told ABC News that while no lawsuit had yet been filed, the claims would allow them to sue within two years. So you pretty much know what's going on here. The trial is set for October 2nd. Um, this is definitely a, a big deal when it comes to the death penalty because um, a lot of people question whether this was going to be a death penalty case. I think that I've, no, I've thought from the very start it was going to be a death penalty case. Um, that is why... I am so gung-ho on innocent till proven guilty. Which was somebody's life on the line here. I'm not prepared to call this man guilty without seeing evidence that provide, provided that shows him to be guilty. And currently, at this stage in time, I don't see any evidence that shows him to be guilty. God, she's fine. Roll it. Purple homicide that gripped the nation. Currently, Brian Koberger stands accused of brutally killing four University of Idaho college students in November of 2020. And yes, I'm low energy. Today, just say, yes, I'm low energy Jeb today. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's been a, a hectic weekend. Very, very hectic weekend. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to this. Two, this horrific crime unfolded at an off-campus home where the four young students were stabbed multiple times in early morning of November 13th of 2022. Koberger has pleaded not guilty to the murders. This week... Koberger's parents were called to testify before a grand jury. The proceedings are by nature very secretive, but also closed door. But their testimonies could be shared with investigators based on a Pennsylvania law that allows judges to release transcripts to agencies after a court hearing. So I believe that's the footage of them in Pennsylvania. If that's the footage right there, that means they, it wasn't a rumor. They definitively testified for a PA grand jury. Meanwhile, the families of Kaylee Gonzalez and Madison Mogan have filed notices. They plan to indicate the pursuit of legal action against the city within the next two years. Kaylee's father, Steve Gonzalez, seeks clarity on the state's intention to seek the death penalty. We can't sit here and say, oh, if there was five victims or six victims or seven victims. Then, then, then you go for the death penalty? No, it, it, it's been crossed. The line's been crossed. Don't I agree. So I, are I agree with that. As a trial approaches. No, I definitely agree with that. In the, in this case, uh, and once again, just because I, I think Koberger's innocent does not mean that I don't feel like whoever did this should get the death penalty. 100%. If it's Koberger, kill his ass. String him up. Firing range, whatever. But because of that kind of importance to this case, you that's why you have to prove this case without a shadow of a doubt, without a reasonable doubt at all. You have to, you have to prove this. We're talking about a young man's life, a young man that had quite a future. 
both the victims and the families and the greater Moscow community, they, they want nothing more than justice for their lost loved ones. Attorney Shannon Gray, representing the Gonzalez family, joins us to discuss. Thank you so much for your time. God, she's fine as fuck. Well. Can you kind of provide us with an update? We know Brian Koberger was in court this week. What is the latest? Well, we have our motion scheduled for the non-dissemination order on June 9th. Uh, my motion is scheduled at 1030. And then the Associated Press's motion is scheduled at 130 that day. Um, I'm not sure if the judge will make a ruling that day or if the judge will uh, take some time to make a decision on the rulings. Um, and then we have Mr. Koberger's uh, trial set into October. So, Well, could you go ahead and elaborate the, the family's intention to seek justice uh, beyond the criminal trial, she is fine what are their buck. expectations? What do they want? Well, I mean, every like every family, I think they want justice for um, the deaths of the, their daughter and Maddie and and uh, Zana and Ethan. So, you know, it's part of the process. Um, you know, the tort claims notice that I filed is just standard procedure. Um, that's something that has to be filed uh, to protect the interests not only of of the families, but the victims, the um, and the community, you know, uh, we hope that everything went perfectly and everything did. Everybody did the right things. But if for some reason something went wrong or something, uh, someone might need to be held accountable for something, uh, you're that makes sense. You're mandated to file those notices. So, That's well, true. is the death penalty for Brian Koberger? Is it still up for question in this case? Well, uh, you know, we spoke with the um, prosecutor on the case, Mr. Thompson. He's going to be with all the families, I think, individually, and then make a decision based on that. So um, the Gonzalez family obviously uh, supports the death penalty in this case. So, How are the families doing right now? How are they coping uh, with the loss of their loved ones? Have they had any mental health support providing them during this difficult time? Well, they're a strong family. Um, you know, I think they all have their good days and their bad days. They still have other children to raise. Uh, you know, clearly yep. had... Uh, sisters and a brother and and so they're still trying to move forward with those types of things but you know every day is a challenge uh some days are more emotional than others that's so crazy on the house is eerie hit, now you know christy pretty hard and steve had to try to be a rock on that day and then some days christy has to be a rock for steve so um i prepared them uh, moving forward on all of the things that might happen and and how the timeline might play out um but they are they are a great family yeah, it's really an awful situation. Um, could you also kind of share any details about the evidence against Brian Koberger and the prosecution's strategy for the upcoming trial? We don't have any of that information. Uh, they don't share any of that stuff with us. Um, Damn. I think that's part of them keeping everything close to the vest. Um, you know, there's the idea that uh, having no information out to the public at all in some way protects the jury pool. Um, but, you know, we would prefer that there we'd have some information shared with us, but we really don't have anything. Okay. Are you telling them shit. Shannon Gray, so. thank, you. thank you for your time. Thank you. We will be following. They're not sharing. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnation.com. They're not sharing shit, man. Newsna she's all right. She's hot. Goddamn. Um, yeah, they're not sharing shit. With the, with the family, it doesn't seem at all, man. So they're going to go after the death penalty, which, you know, that makes sense. I, and I pretty much knew Gonsalves would. I knew Steve Gonzalez would, period. This is why we have to get this case right. And meanwhile, you motherfuckers around here are still trying to pin other murders on Brian Koberger. Police are still investigating whether Brian Koberger is connected to a disappearance of a missing Pennsylvania woman after a grand jury called his parents to testify. I want you to understand, Brian Inton released this. I don't understand why they're still investigating the, the fucking police Stroud, Stroud area regional police department said the SAP the PD has no evidence that Don, Don, Dana, Dana Smithers disappearance is in any way tied to Brian Koberger. You understand that you online sleuths have made uh, other police departments have to come out and fact check you because you just continuously you, you claim Koberger was there for everything. Koberger did the, he, he's the one that, that gassed the Jews. He's the one that sunk the Titanic. He's the one that shot JFK. 
You guys just keep going with this Koberger shit. And this is why uh, essentially it's going to be a situation where he, he's not going to get a fair trial. And listen, if you people really truly care about this, about what you guys call justice for the victims, then you would stop putting Koberger in such a situation where he would never get a fair trial. Because what if it's not Koberger? And what if it is Koberger, but you guys are muddy in the water so much that he can't get a fair trial? And he ends up he ends up going free on a technicality. You ever you ever think about that? The sister of missing Pennsylvania woman breaks her silence on Koberger connection after the Idaho murder suspects. Parents were called to testify in the cold case. Dana Smithers went missing May 28th, 2022. Her remains were uncovered 30 miles away just recently. The sister has broke her silence. She says Idaho suspect Brian Koberger is likely not connected at all to the disappearance of her sister, despite the parents being called in to testify. Understand that the sister says he's not connected. The police say he's not connected. I don't understand why we're still questioning this. Now, I do want to correct some things, though. Because you guys that followed me during the Brian Laundry case, I, when you guys kept going after the laundries, um, I said that you guys were in the wrong to leave them parents alone. But I do want to say something real quick while we're here. After reading the recent letter from Brian Laundry's mom to Brian Laundry, <laughs> you guys were right all along. I was wrong. In my opinion, in my opinion, I don't think that Brian Laundry told his mom that he murdered Gabby, but I think that she kind of knew something was up. Remember when he went back home and went camping with them? I believe she was like, where's Gabby? What's going on here? And, uh, you don't want to know, mom. I can't let, you know, I think, I don't think he confessed to her, but I think she knew what was going on. And that's why she wrote that letter. I do not believe she wrote that letter prior to um, the trip with Gabby Petito. So I want to come out and say, for the record, I was wrong about that. In my opinion, the laundries were the scumbags that you guys were saying that they were. I still think that you guys harassed the shit out of them. I still think they don't deserve that. They didn't deserve all the harassment that was going on outside their house day in and day out. But after reading that letter, for you guys that did not know it, you guys didn't see it. She talked about she'd help him bury a body and escape from jail. The way she was talking to that boy, it was like she was sucking his dick. That's not a normal letter from a mom. I don't care who says what about it. It's not a normal letter. So I'm just letting you guys know when it comes to the potato and laundry case, I was wrong completely. In regards to my defense of his parents, Laundry's parents. And uh, I'm openly telling you guys that. But back to Kobar. Do you guys think he should get together? Regardless, are you for the death penalty or against it? In my opinion, whoever slaughtered these four kids should be put to death. I just am not too sure it's Brian Koberger at the moment. And that's exactly why we should make sure. Because whoever did it needs to be put to death. We can't put to death people that are not 100% guilty. That's why we need to know. That's why we need to know. What's your thoughts on this, guys? There's not much news going on today. I wanted to give you a quick one. I got to get over to my live stream. I love you guys. I'm JB Gunner. This is crime time. Sorry for my low energy today, man. Been drinking like a motherfucker. It's been a good weekend. Hot tubbing and shit. I'm relaxed as fuck. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.